Hi, how are you doing? Today, we're going to look at adding computed columns in SQL Server. We're going to look at adding persisted versus non-persisted. We're going to add indexes. We're going to look at which one performs the best, which one performs the worst. We're going to try updating them. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe for me. It really helps. It makes me make more videos for you to enjoy and learn from for free. And as always, just if you've got any suggestions or requests, ask me in the comments. Enjoy the tutorial. So a nice simple tutorial on how to add a computed column to the users table in Stack Overflow 2013. To do that, we're going to look at the top 10 entries in the users table where we're going to add our computed column. We can see the last column is count ID column. And the syntax for that is nice and simple. It's a standard alter table syntax. And we're going to add score and we're going to add our upvotes at minus our downvotes. It's nice and simple, I'm going to run that. And if we refresh down here, we can see that the computed the score is a computed column, the table has been added. Now you'll notice this is similar syntax, this is persisted. Now persisted means it physically stores the values in the table. And this one, it means it'll calculate it on the fly. To drop that column, if we want to, we can run the standard drop column syntax, we can run that. And this one will take slightly longer, not too much. As you can see, it's taken a bit more time than normal. There you go. Still, if we look down there, still not much time at all, seven seconds. Now, let's have a look at how the two perform from a performance perspective, persisted versus non-persisted. So if I run this, we've got our execution plan on up here, and I'm going to run this. Look at the execution plan. If I hover over that, we can see 17.2773 is our subtree cost. Let's drop that a second, and let's run it as a non-persisted. Run the same again. Look at the execution plan, 17.3. Persisted columns marginally improves on performance. Worth knowing, let's have a look at that now if we add an index to the table. So it's worth knowing here as well, we can index most computed columns. I'll show you in a second. How some of those, there's some exceptions to that. If you've added an index, I'm going to run that. And we can see 0 0.0032. Let's drop that. And now oh, drop the index first, then drop the column. Now let's look at it from a persisted viewpoint. Any second now, there you go. Add our index. Now let's run this again. We've got our execution plan, hover over here, 0 0.03. So we can see that they mainly perform exactly the same when we've got an index. Worth knowing as well, if you're gonna be using large tables, well worth indexing them, especially things like integers. So what happens if we want to update a computer column? I'm going to try to update this. I mean, what we're going to do is we're going to add score. We're going to add 10 onto everybody's score. Well, just on where the ID is one. As you can see, we can't we'll get an error because it's a computer column. It's the result of a union operator. So we can't change the value of computer columns. So what would happen if we want to add computer columns on to things that aren't integers or other types? Let's hop over. We're going to go over to AdventureWorks 2019 for that. It's got a few decent tables we can look at. And we're going to look at the Human Resources Employee table. So if we look down here at our columns, we're going to look at this column. And we're going to calculate 
that compared to now to get our age. See the column here, shows us our age. And then what if we want to index it? And we can't in this case, because an age is a calculated value. So we can't here. Let's have a look further down here at the person.person .person table. And we are going to alter the column to add a full name, which is first name and last name, with a nice little space in between. Again, because we're showing the calculation here, it'll be computed. Let's find that table, the person.person. .person. And we can see full name down here, it's a computer column. Create an index on that. Can we do that? Yes, we can. And we can see further down here, as we show the indexes, the name of it is person underscore full name. And it's showing just as a normal index would. But like with anything, if we want to remove a computer column, first of all, have to remove any indexes that might be assigned to that. I hope that's cleared it up. Nice and simple, well worth looking into computer columns.